hello everyone uh, let's solve this problem find the count of monotonic pairs so in this problem first we will discuss the problem statement clearly then we will visualize and in the next part we will try to build the logic and finally we will see the coding part so for better understanding please watch the video till the end now let's understand the question clearly here you are given an array of positive integer numbers of length n right we call pair of non negative integers array 1 and array 2 monotonic if the length of both arrays are n and array 1 is monotonically non decreasing in other words array 1 of 0 is less than or equal to array 1 of 1 that means it can go in this way 0th index 1 2 3 4 it can be equal it can be equal but it can't decrease this is my non decreasing sequence and coming to the non increasing sequence you can see first element will be my top greater element this is also it can it should be next element should be greater than or equal less than or equals to not greater than then same thing this dip it follows so what does it mean first one is it is increasing sequence but not strictly increasing strictly increasing is the straight graph you can see where the uh, it, this is not possible that's why it is going not decreasing so we will consider this as strictly increasing uh, not like only increasing not strictly here this is decreasing sequence this is decreasing sequence so my values can be 0 0 1 2 4 4 2 so it's it can be equal and it can increase but it should not decrease so after 5 you should not get 4 if you are getting 4 it's not valid same applies for this sequence now we we understood this is the statements monotonical sequences then we have array 1 of i plus array 2 of i that means the for the first vector like consider it as array 1 for array 1 for v1 you will take one element suppose x for array 2 you will take y it is saying that this x plus y should be equals to my my original LVO, original numbers original number so x plus y is equals to my original number so phi he is saying that okay we need to return the count of monotonic pairs he is saying that we need to return the how many monotonic pairs are possible okay it's good now let's see like 2 3 2 right so here you have taken 0 1 1 and 2 2 1 if you add you will get this so this is my increasing this this is my increasing sequence and this is my decreasing so here increasing decreasing increasing decreasing so in this way we have formed four outputs now let's see the constraints if you see the constraints is 2000 whenever you see like 10 power 3 constraints uh, try to think in terms of dp now if you are thinking about dp right if you are thinking about dp my numbers are very small how we can think so what i will think is uh, for the first array right for the first array i can choose the elements from i can choose the elements from 0 to 0 to nums of i right nums of i i can choose the element and for array 2 what i can choose if you are choosing 0 then for array 2 nums of i minus 0 you can choose if you are choosing 1 then it's nums of i minus 1 ok this you can choose and he is saying non increasing not decreasing ok so after choosing this also can you store these values all the previous values last values oh you only required that right suppose uh, this is monotonic sequence this is monotonic sequence you have two elements and you need to store this only if you are storing this you can say if it is greater than or equal then you will say it's increasing if it is decreasing you need to store only one element so what i will do is i will try to store one element okay it's good i will try to store the one element so first this is my increasing sequence and this is my decreasing sequence first i can choose zero right so if you see here my values are from 1 to 50 so my minimum value can be zero so i can take zero and what i can take in the maximum value maximum value i can take 50 50 right 50 consider it as a previous of first array previous of the second array this is my increasing sequence and this is my decreasing sequence so in this increasing sequence i got the previous value i got the previous value now for i for i 1 to v of i i will iterate 1 to v of i will iterate for x1 equals to i i will say this is my i this is my first number for x2 i will subtract v of i minus i and this is increasing sequence right it is increasing sequence. so what i will do is i will check x1 is greater than or equals to previous of 1 so i will store previous of 1 as 0 and the maximum it can reach till 50 so maximum value i have taken 50 
now now x2 is less than or equals to previous to if both conditions are satisfied if both conditions are satisfied i will increment my index i will increment my index this is how the recursive function works this is how the recursive function works try to think like if you are taking i if you are x2 will be v of i minus i and my x1 should be greater than previous of 1 and x2 should be less than or equals to previous of 2 this is how uh, the logic works so i think you have got the logic so try to try to code by yourself so if you are unable to code we can go for the next part of the video now let's see the coding part it's simple first we have second dp 2001 and this is the like memoization part we will we will see the memoization part later first we will see x1 equals to, so previous one equals to 0 it is 0 it is my 50 right it's my 50 so j will be iterated from so my this is my increasing sequence right this is my increasing sequence so my j will be previous of 1 to j is less than or equals to v of i right previous of 1 to less than or equals to i then x1 equals to j and x2 is equals to v of i minus j v of i minus j now i will check my x1 which is increasing right x1 is greater than or equals to previous of 1 and x2 is less than or equals to previous of 2 that means this condition if it is less then i am incrementing i plus 1 and i am sending x1 and x2 because now i want this index is not the previous ones because I need to compete with this two index. So I am sending that. So he's saying that modulo was too high. So we are taking modulo module. Now if you see the states, my i is changing. Yes, my i is changing. Your previous one is changing. Yes, previous two is changing, right? Okay, i. If you see i, it can reach till 2000. 2000. So I will take 2001. And maximum, my elements can be 50. So I will take 51. Right? 51 and 51. So in this way i will form the dp states 2001 52 52 for the 51 you can take but for safe side i have taken 52 so you can take this and this is a overlapping sub problems because the states are changing so i will store in the dp and if it's not equals to 1 i will return the the value which is present in the memcache that's what dp so i think you have learned something new so here if you see the time complexity it will be 2000 into 50 into 50 it will be like around 10 power 6 to 10 power 7 10 power 6 to 10 power 7 and same space you are using same space because dp is going in this space only so i think you have learned something new so if you learn something new please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe and i have created a whatsapp community you can join there for further discussion if you have any doubts regarding this problem you can comment it down i will try to help you so i will see you in the next video till then bye bye